So, I walked outside this morning and found a peach on the ground. That means it's time to harvest them. So, I started pulling them off, um, the ones that I could reach, but I can't reach them all, so I'm going to go ahead and start climbing a ladder <laughs> to harvest peaches. Hooray! Yeah, I'm going to hold the 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 don't, don't thing. Hold the camera. If if it falls though. If it falls, we can get back off. Yeah. Big peach. <laughs> yeah, that's the one that I saw. There he is. Now I know it's not as much as last year. Last year I got like a whole basket full, um, but this year it was so cold. Sorry, I'm not in the frame. It was so cold this year. I'm surprised we got any. So I'm grateful. We'll make some tasty things. Normal, normal <laughs> peach the frame. and giant peach. Yes. Put it I can't over really here in normal the circle. And giant. Look in the circle when you're talking. Normal and giant peach. Yes. Okay. Put them in. Awesome. I'm excited. We're going to make some yummy things. Yay! <laughs> okay, so peaches are harvested, and now it's time to push Peter on the swing. So Peter let's do that. Now Mario. Let's find a place to put the camera.
Sweetie, probably in the toy bin. She's on. want to be held right now. They're, they want to eat their food. Just a minute. Hey, baby. Hey, okay, 
Okay, go ahead and pet her. I can't pet her. There, there. Don't push on her face. Just pet her nice. Can I pet the chicken? Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I feed the chickens, what I what I feed them, I suppose. My I recipe, like, as it were. Thank you for going past the children, playing on the floor, into my garage. And I have these two bins in the garage. One is dog food, one is chicken food, actually three bins. One is rabbit food. And then... We have our scooper, and I do four scoops, one, two, three, just a minute, four, four scoops, and then I have these herbs from Scratch and Peck, they're local to me. Um, all this food is actually scratch and peck, organic, layer feed, um, because they're local to me. But I use these because they're organic and they're super close by. It's not being trucked across the country or from some other country. So that's important to me. So we spend a little extra. And they say you can mix it into the bin, but I don't do that. I just grab a couple, like a pinch. like like this much and sprinkle it in. If there's big flowers, those are calendula, I'll just break them up just so that it spreads around a little more. Maybe, maybe a little more. Yeah. And I put these back so they're there for tomorrow. And then we take our bin, our bucket, close the door with my elbow. Step over the children playing Connect Four on the floor. Take my dirty bucket. I know it looks dirty and gross, but it's fine. Bring it here to the kitchen. And then I go into my cupboard and I get my apple cider vinegar. Use brag, apple cider vinegar, organic. It gets kind of cloudy on the bottom, so I stir it around, and then I put in a good flash. That's probably good. We use this for other things too, so I can do it in the kitchen. And then, over here through that sink. Don't mind the carrots in the sink, those are for a later project. And I'm going to use water to spray down the edges of my bucket to try to clean it up a bit and add water to the bucket. Okay, water in the bucket. And then I give it a good stir. Make sure it's all incorporated with the water. And I want, if you look at the edge, oops, sorry, I want a good like inch of water above the settled line of the grain. So I'm going to add a little more water. Mm. It's less than an inch, but that looks about right to me. So then I take my spoon out. It'll get rinsed and washed. And then this is what it looks like on top. All bubbly. And we'll put the lid on. And then we take it back to the garage where it will sit until tomorrow. Do, 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 do. Children playing Connect Four. Trying to step on toes. So, here. How about do. And then I just put it no. right here. And that is where it will sit and ferment until tomorrow. Now, the reason I ferment is it. Number one, it makes the. Let me close the door. It's loud. It makes the feet go a little further because it puffs them up. So the chickens are getting food and water when they eat it. Um, it also grows the good kind of bacteria, which helps with their digestion. It makes it easier to digest. All kinds of good reasons. You can look them up. 
Um, it's, I've been doing it since I got my chickens three years ago and they love it, so I just keep doing it. Um, I do sometimes feed it to them dry if I'm like going out of town or I don't have time to do that stuff, like all those steps, um, I will just give it to them dry and they like it that way too. They just don't eat all of it. When it's wet, all those fine particles, let me show you. Sorry, it's hot in here, I'm out of breath. Um, all these fine dust particles, they won't eat them all. They'll just fall to the bottom and they don't eat it. So when it's wet, it clumps them together and they're more likely to eat all that protein and other stuff that's mixed in there. So it works. I recommend it. Again, it's not 100%. I don't do it every time. So even if you just do it once in a while, it's still beneficial for them. So that's how I feed my chickens.